I know this may sound stupid, but I cried. I broke down. With more than 95,000 followers, Goddard creates lifestyle videos sharing her morning routines and life as a mom and wife to a rancher. After I became a mom is whenever I was inspired by another mom content creator and um, I was kind of going through a rough time. And so, um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to find my purpose and I feel like I've done that on TikTok. She says most of her family's income comes from brand deals where she works with businesses, including small businesses, to promote their products on her page. This is my livelihood. Um, and I mean, this money, I use it for bills, to put food on the table for my family. And um, I just feel like it's going to have this huge impact on me. And my husband and I have even been talking about moving if, you know, it doesn't get reversed. In an effort to get the law overturned, the complaint argues the state does not have the power to handle national security matters. It also says the law is unconstitutional and violates the First Amendment, among other things. Gianforte posted on Twitter Wednesday saying he signed the bill to, quote, protect Montanans' personal and private data from the Chinese Communist Party. The ban comes after dozens of states have already banned TikTok on government-issued devices. But Montana is the first state to pass a total ban. The law says the ban would be void if TikTok is sold and breaks ties with its parent company, ByteDance, which is based out of China. But so far, there is no public evidence that suggests the Chinese government has accessed U.S. user data on TikTok. Pamela Wisniewski, an associate professor in the computer science department at Vanderbilt University, says the law would be difficult to enforce. I mean, why don't we just build a proverbial firewall around the U.S. and just keep our DNS servers to only U.S. based companies? Um, and so that's like a modest proposal that like anybody would say, oh, that's just too extreme. But if we're doing it for one particular app, well, why aren't we looking at the, the source of where other uh, websites are on the Internet? Um, and so that's my biggest concern is that I think we're doing this more based on fear. She's also worried the ban would put some people who aren't as tech savvy at a disadvantage, saying people would figure out a way to go around the ban, like spoofing their IP address to make it look like they're in a different location. Yes, there is a lot of garbage <laughs> on TikTok and things that are inappropriate for younger children to see. But like you said, there's educational videos, there's activism, there's um, support for minoritized communities like the LGBTQ population um, and ways to empower those who otherwise wouldn't be given a voice. Um, and, and so we don't want to take away these platforms. Stephanie Sandoval, Scripps News.